Welcome to Module 13, AWS Networking and Content Delivery Services. In this module, we will cover the following subject. AWS Networking and Content Delivery Services Overview. AWS Cloud Networking. AWS Virtual Private Cloud or VPC. Subnet. Internet Gateway. Virtual Private Gateway. Direct Connect. AWS Network Access Control List or NACL. AWS Security Group. Overview of Domain Name System or DNS. AWS Route 53. Amazon CloudFront. Amazon Global Accelerator. Let's get started. AWS Networking and Content Delivery Services offered a wide range of tools, features, and services to build secure, scalable, and highly available networks to create robust architectures, optimize application performance, and ensure data integrity for your cloud infrastructure. Let's take a high-level overview of AWS services related to networking and content delivery. Let's start with the building blocks of your network. Amazon Virtual Private Cloud forms the foundation of your AWS network. We'll delve into subnets, network access control lists, and security groups, all of which contribute to creating a secure and efficient network environment. Moving beyond the basics, AWS offers application networking services, such as Amazon VPC Lattice, AWS App Mesh, AWS API Gateway, AWS Cloud Map, and Elastic Load Balancing. The edge of your network is where global reach meets optimal performance. We'll discuss services like Amazon CloudFront, Amazon Route 53, and Amazon Global Accelerator, which ensure efficient content delivery, intelligent routing, and enhanced user experiences. There are various options for hybrid network connectivity such as AWS Direct Connect, AWS Site-to-Site -Site VPN, AWS Client VPN, and AWS CloudWAN. Lastly, network security services such as AWS Shield, AWS Web Application Firewall, AWS Network Firewall, and AWS Firewall Manager, all designed to protect your network from threats and vulnerabilities. AWS Cloud Networking is not also exceeding but also enhance your traditional on-premises solutions, all without the need for hardware and physical data centers. To better illustrate this, today, let's embark on a journey into the world of AWS Cloud Networking through the story of Stark Industries, a pioneering military weapon manufacturer from Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. As we follow Stark Industries' transformation from on-premises data centers to the AWS Cloud, We'll explore the solutions AWS offers to secure resource isolation in a shared cloud environment. Imagine a large on-premises data center where Stark Industries operates its business. Within this data center, Stark Industries houses public web servers and private servers handling critical functions like ERP, HR, and top-secret information. Enter Tony Stark, the visionary owner of Stark Industries. He's heard about the immense potential of AWS cloud services and is contemplating migrating the public web server and ERP server to the AWS cloud. Tony Stark is forward-thinking, but he's also aware of his competitor, Hammer Industries, who is also considering a migration to the AWS cloud. How does AWS ensure secure resource isolation for our on-premise servers in the shared cloud environment? Amazon VPC offers a robust solution for creating isolated virtual networks within the AWS cloud, eliminating the need for VPNs, hardware, or data centers. One of the standout features of Amazon VPC is its ability to ensure that Stark Industries VPC remains entirely isolated from Hammer Industries VPC. This isolation is a fundamental pillar of AWS cloud security, guaranteeing that resources remain secure, protected, and insulated from unauthorized access. With Amazon VPC, Stark Industries and Hammer Industries can confidently move their public web server and ERP server to the AWS cloud. The logical isolation provided by VPC ensures that sensitive data and applications remain secure, even in a shared cloud environment. Now that we've established the security and isolation capabilities of Amazon Virtual Private Cloud. Now that I am convinced that Amazon VPC provides network isolation, 
How can I manage my public web and private ERP servers effectively? In Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, subnets play a crucial role in organizing and securing your resources. They provide a way to control access and segregate your network into public and private segments. Let's delve deeper into what subnets are and how they work. Subnets are like virtual compartments within your VPC where you group and isolate your resources. These resources can be Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instances, databases, or other AWS services. Public subnets are designed to host resources that need to be accessible from the internet. They typically contain internet-facing services like web servers or load balancers. In this example, Stark Industries web servers are located inside the public subnet. In contrast, private subnets contain resources that should not have direct internet exposure. These are often reserved for sensitive services or databases that should only be accessed through the internal network. In this example, Start Industries ERP Server. Great, now I can group my web server in the public subnet and my ERP system in the private subnet. Now, how can public users access my web server? Introducing Internet Gateway. It's an essential component to enable internet access in your VPC. An internet gateway acts as the bridge between your virtual private cloud, VPC, and the internet. It supports both IP4 and IP6 traffic, allowing resources located in public subnets to establish connections with the internet for tasks such as serving web content, receiving updates, or interacting with external services. Internet gateways ensure that your VPC can securely and efficiently communicate with the global network. Great. Now, what's the secure method to access my private subnet from Stark Data Center? Virtual Private Gateway, commonly known as VPN Gateway, plays a crucial role in enabling private traffic from your on-premises data center or other approved networks to access resources within your Amazon Virtual Private Cloud. It establishes a secure virtual private network connection between your VPC and the external private network, ensuring that traffic can flow between them only if it originates from an authorized and trusted source. VPN is using public bandwidth. Is it possible to have dedicated connection to ensure private connection and low latency? AWS Direct Connect is a powerful service that allows you to create a dedicated and private connection between your on-premises data center and your Amazon Virtual Private Cloud in the AWS Cloud. This dedicated connection offers the shortest and most direct path to access your AWS resources. Importantly, this network traffic travels exclusively on the AWS Global Network and avoids any contact with the public internet. This exclusive route minimizes the risk of bottlenecks and ensures consistent low latency performance, even during periods of high traffic. Impressive! Does AWS offer the capability to configure restrictions on inbound and outbound traffic for public and private subnets? AWS Network Access Control List, often referred to as Network ACL. This feature operates at the subnet level acting as a virtual firewall in the AWS environment. Network ACL plays a vital role in regulating the flow of traffic, enabling you to allow or deny specific inbound and outbound traffic based on your defined rules. Unlike some other security components, Network ACL operates in a stateless manner, meaning it handles inbound and outbound rules independently, without the need for state tracking. Wow, that's impressive. Can I apply the same level of control at the EC2 instance level? I'm a bit paranoid, you know. An integral part of the AWS security is the security group. Think of it as a vigilant guardian that controls the flow of traffic to and from the resources within your virtual private cloud. Much like a firewall, a security group enables you to specify which ports and protocols are allowed for both inbound and outbound traffic, thus ensuring that your resources are protected and only interact with the necessary connections. Just a moment, 
my public web server www.stark.com has been migrated to the AWS cloud. How can the public users access my web server now? Introducing Domain Nom System or DNS, the Internet's Address Book. In a vast online landscape, every Internet-connected device is assigned a unique Internet protocol address. However, remembering these numerical combinations can be quite a challenge. The DNS, a fundamental component of Internet architecture, simplifies this process. Whenever you enter a familiar web address, for example www.stark.com, into your device, the DNS comes into play. It looks up this user-friendly domain name and finds the corresponding IP address. Then, it seamlessly connects your device to the desired location on the internet. In essence, the DNS acts as the bridge that grants your device access to billions of websites on the internet. Amazon Route 53 is a highly available and scalable domain name system, DNS, web service and health checking web services. Route 53 connects user requests to internet applications running on AWS or on-premises. A user enters www.stark.com in their web browser and hits enter. The request goes to their ISP's DNS resolver. The DNS resolver forwards the request to a DNS root name server. The DNS resolver then forwards the request to a TLD, the top-level domain name server for com domains. It gets the names of the root 53 name servers associated with stark.com. The DNS resolver caches these root 53 name servers for future use, typically for two days. This reduces the need to repeat steps 3 and 4 when others browse to stark.com. The DNS resolver selects a root 53 name server and sends the request to it. The root 53 name server searches in the stark.com hosted zone for the www.stark.com record. It retrieves the associated IP address, for example, 192.0.2.44, and returns it to the DNS resolver. The DNS resolver now has the required IP address and sends it back to the web browser. The web browser initiates a request for www.stark.com at the IP address received from the DNS resolver. This is where the content, such as a web server hosted on an Amazon EC2 instance or an Amazon S3 bucket configured as a website, is located. The web server at IP address 192.0.2.44 sends the web page for www.stark.com to the web browser, which displays the content. Great! The www.stark.com website caters to a diverse audience, serving dynamic content, live streams, and on-demand videos. How can we ensure a seamless user experience with low latency and swift access for visitors around the world? Amazon CloudFront is a content delivery network service built for high performance and security. Amazon CloudFront delivers it through a worldwide network of edge locations that provide low latency and high performance. Here's a breakdown of how Amazon CloudFront works in delivering content efficiently. Users worldwide access the application's data by visiting www.stark.com. Amazon Route 53 uses DNS resolution to find the corresponding IP address, for example 192.0.2.44 for www.stark.com and provides this information to the user. Amazon Route 53 directs the user's request to the closest edge location through Amazon CloudFront. CloudFront first checks its cache for the requested object. If it's found, CloudFront quickly delivers it to the user. If not found in the cache, CloudFront fetches it from the nearest regional edge cache. In cases where the object is not in any cache, CloudFront analyzes the request based on its distribution settings and forwards it to the origin server. Once retrieved from the origin server, the object is sent back to the regional edge cache and, from there, delivered to the user. CloudFront also stores a cached copy of the object at the point of presence and regional edge cache for future requests. What options can I explore if I have a variety of applications that include non-cacheable content, real-time data, live streams, and dynamic elements. 
AWS Global Accelerator offers a networking service designed to enhance the availability, performance, and security of your public applications. It provides two global static public IP addresses that serve as stable entry points to access your application endpoints. This ensures a consistent and reliable connection to your application, enhancing the user experience. Prior to deploying AWS Global Accelerator, accessing your application isn't as straightforward as depicted in the diagram. It can take many networks to reach the application. It may go through to local ISP in many different hops. The path to and from the application can vary due to the constant changes and dynamism of the public internet. This inconsistency can result in an unreliable user experience because each hop along the way can affect performance and introduce potential issues, including latency and network availability concerns. AWS Global Accelerator enhances the availability, security, and performance of internet-facing applications, often delivering up to 60% improvement. This service optimizes customer proximity to AWS services by leveraging the nearest AWS points of presence in locations like Sydney, significantly reducing dependence on the unpredictable public internet. Global Accelerator efficiently connects customers to their workloads, effectively minimizing latency between customers and local internet service providers. The traffic is intelligently directed through the closest edge locations in Sydney, leveraging the extensive global AWS network. This approach results in significant performance enhancements, ensuring a smoother and faster experience for end users. Congratulations! You have completed Module 13, AWS Networking and Content Delivery Services.